it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have three new gel polishes for you from Coco and Claire, and we have some magnetic gel polishes from Coco and Claire, which I'm looking forward to swatching for you guys. I also have a bunch of magnets that I got on Amazon that I am going to try out with you and just kind of see how they work with it as well. So let's get to swatching. Um, we have three colors that are kind of all over the place, but this is the beginning of some other magnetic polishes that are coming as well. First one up is number 187 Vivacious Violet. Like they're super, super metallic. This is a really pretty purple and it just kind of looked like it had some magnetic properties. So let's get to swatching these. I'm gonna do one coat cure and then we'll do the magnetic after on the second coat. Definitely want to apply these in two coats. I love this purple, you guys know me. I'm such a sucker for a good purple. All right, so before we go in and cure this one, let's take this one here, which is like a zigzaggy pattern and just see what happens. That one looks kind of neat. I know you have to go like really close with them too. Just gives like a little hint. Oh, this one, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. I just find it so interesting. Yeah, this one you can actually like see as I go over top of it. Like the wands, are, you just can't see until you pull it out, right? But let's try this one that's got like the squiggles, but they're closer together. Like that looks pretty cool. This is what 187 looks like. It's a really pretty silver purple magnetic gel polish. Okay. So next up we have number 193, which is called Girly Girl. And it is a pink with like a light silver shimmer to it. I think I'm just gonna go in and do two super thin coats and then on the third one we'll do the magnetic. Truthfully, I don't think these need three coats. I just really wanna build them up so we can get the best magneticness. Like this one goes on really nice for a first coat. Maybe I'll only have to do two. Ooh, that one looked that one looks cool. This is what number 193 looks like. It's a great like medium pink. The last color in the mini collection is Fresh Celery number 199 and it is like a light kind of mossy green color. This one applies pretty sheer. I was thinking that this might not go down very well in two coats, but it's pretty concentrated in the two coats, so that's good. You have to get pretty close to it, but that's pretty cool. I do like that. This is what number 199 fresh celery looks like. <laughs> I like that floral magnetic one. It's kind of neat. If you just put some like crystals in the center, I think that would look kind of for the set that I'm going to design. I want my pinky and my thumb to be the green color. And we're going to tie in some green accents, probably with some Swarovski crystals. And then I want these two nails here to be ombre. I want to ombre the pink and the purple together. I think that'll look really good. Green, green, and then ombre. And we'll just, we'll see how it comes together. I really like the flowers. I think I'm just gonna do the magnetic flowers on the middle and the ring finger. And I don't think I'm gonna use a magnetic wand for the green ones. I'm just gonna leave the green because the green on its own without using the magnetic wands is really pretty too. We're gonna go in with our purple first. We're gonna do like a side ombre. I don't know, for some reason that's kind of what I imagine it to be. We're just gonna do one coat down the one side and the other coat down the other side. And I don't overly care how these blend because we have to do another layer anyway. So let's just cure that and then we'll come back in and do our blend. While they're both still wet, I'm just gonna take an ombre brush 
and an ombre, ombre brush just has like light bristles at the top. And I'm just going to feather these together. And uh, the nice thing about like metallic gel polishes is you really don't have to do too much to make them blend. If you're working with like a solid color, you might have to kind of play around with it a little, little bit more to get that like flawless blend. Okay, now that I have these, we're gonna do some flowers on here. So neat. The exact same thing on this one, except I want pink on this side and purple on this side. So it kind of looks like it blends like flawlessly when it's all said and done. that I'm gonna to use today to kind of tie the design together. This first one is called Crystal Light, something like that. It's one of my favorite kind of light greens. I love Peridot as well. Um, and I think the Peridot would match a little bit better to the green in this nail design, but I'm just about out of Peridot. And then I'm also gonna use Rose, which is a nice kind of medium pink. Light Rose would be pretty for this one too. And then this is Providence Lavender, which is one of my favorite uh, light purples. I did just apply a top coat. Normally I would work on a finished file nail with this glue or I would work on like a mat. But I'm actually just kind of curious to see how well they stick on top of the shiny. But I find like uh, the reason that I love working with a nail glue versus a gel is because I love that the crystals are just floating on the nails. Um, but the problem is, is if you don't surround these with a top gloss, they're going to pop off. Uh, so you would go in with your crystals, then you would go in and top gloss them, but do your best not to top gloss over top of the crystals because you're going to lose that shine. the pinky and the pointer. I'm also just going to do a little crystal design as well. Um, I love side crystal designs. Um, I want about an SS12 here. Looks like it would fit nicely on there. And when I'm using crystals, I use the opposite colors that the base is. So the base is green, so I'm going to use pink and purple crystals. And I find if you think about it like that, then you can tie the crystals together a little bit easier and you come out with a more cohesive design, especially with something like this where we're not doing any stamping or any hand painted art, any decals, anything like that. Um, I love using crystals to tie all the different colors together. Crystals for me are one of the easiest ways to tie any sort of design together that I'm trying to create. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you just a little sneak peek into what the Coco and Claire magnetic gel polishes kind of look like. Uh, as more release, I will definitely film some more for you guys to see and we'll come up with some other designs and such. I had a lot of fun playing with these magnetic ones, specifically this flower one. I think this one is my favorite uh, out of all the ones that we kind of played around with here. I don't mind the squiggly ones too though. I think that one's kind of cool too, but comment below and let me know what you guys do with your magnetic gel polishes as far as art goes do you just make all the nails look the same do you like to blend them like what are you guys doing with yours i'd love to know make sure you're following me on all my social media and i'll see you guys in my next video bye